Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Cooking with Priya in Priya's Kitchen. I had a busy day today, like usual, and um, I just showered so I could get my dinner going. Uh, the girls are not home, so that's why I am purposely cooking late tonight. So it's not my usual weekday, like I'm looking for my watch and I have it on. Um, my usual weekday that I'm like rushing to make dinner. I'm purposely making it late so everything can be warm when they get back. Um, and just keeping it light. We had lasagna and we had some other leftovers earlier, so I'm just going to show you guys uh, what I'm making and hopefully uh, I'll inspire you for hanging out with me in the Saturday night. Quarantine baby, quarantine all the way. Hey Anisha, what's up? Um, so I'm making brownies, box brownies, not even joking. I'm not making it from scratch, way too late for that. Hi gorgeous. So here's my brownie mix. So I'm literally going to just add uh, stuff to this. Just give me one second, let me get something. I thought I had my paper towel. Okay, so here's my brownie mix. Hey Tip, how are you? I hope Snow's watching. Oh, thank you so much. I clean up well, Tip. I just bathe. Oh, thank you so much, Avi. I appreciate it. So literally, I've got um, brownie mi mix in here. So, and I'm just gonna bake up a quick brownie, like I said, um, just from the box, not not from scratch. Not even a big deal today. Um, so here is half a cup of oil. So I'm just putting oil to my brownie. I know some people put water, I'm just putting oil. Hey Diane, how are you? Thank you, green is my color. My first car was green and my favorite thing is green. <laughs> I love yellow though, I can't lie. Um, and I'm just going to just, I have two eggs at room temperature. You can't hear me. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me. Uh, just give me like a wave or a pop or give me like a thumbs up or something. I don't know what's up with my phone. Let me just check the volume. It's turned all the way up. Tiff, just give me like a, a thumbs up if you can hear me before I continue. I'm just gonna uh, pop my eggs in the meantime. Oh, you can hear, okay. All right, so some of you can hear, some of you can't, I'm not sure. Uh, hey Lily, how are you? Hey Diane. I'm just gonna do my, uh... okay, you can hear, okay. All right, so some of you can hear. I don't know what happens sometimes. I know it's happened before. Um, so let's see, I'm just gonna continue. Tiff, just let me know if you can. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> I want you to hear me, Tiff, you my girl. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, hey, Avi, how are you? So I've got my brownie mix here. Oh, thanks, Lily, and I'm just gonna do two eggs. So here we go. Hey Mahanti, how are you? I cleaned my house all day today. I don't know what you guys did, but it took me almost the entire day to clean, do laundry, get everything going. Like it's it's kind of insane um, when I take Saturday to do that, but that's what I do. And then the girls are not, oh, okay, good. Um, and the girls are not home. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to just cook late. We back this up. So I've got like two eggs here. So it's just a regular box brownie recipe. Just oil, eggs. Just throw everything in here. And I need three um, tablespoon of water. Let me grab some water here. I do have to use measurements for bacon, even though I don't use it for anything else, but I do use it for bacon. Uh, two and three. And that's it. Back it up again. Put that away. I just got like a loaf pan, uh, so I'm just going to put that, just mix that up. Just going to mix this gently. I feel like I should have gotten like my wine opener and had wine with you guys. It's like I'm home alone. I've been home alone for a while now. Oh, thanks. Tip, this dress is a work dress. <laughs> Work dress from you know from school. It's just like whatever. It's comfortable. It's jersey material. Gotta love Banana Republic. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. I'm like I can't come on looking dirty on here. Make you guys be like, what the hell this girl's cooking? She look she look she looks dirty. So let me move my hair out of the way before I get people talking about my hair and my food or my brownie. Hold on, <laughs> my hair is wet, so I just. I, arm strength. I could use a cake mixer, but not for this. This is just like so easy. Just want to mix it well. Let me get my spatula to make sure I uh, mix it 
just a little extra in the, in the bottom. Make sure I get it all in there. What are you guys doing on this Saturday night? Anyone doing anything interesting? You guys just chilling? What'd you guys cook? Um, <laughs> to you are hilarious. I know, I should put my hair net on or I should put my shower cap on because, you know, I, I am in the... <laughs> I'm not gonna even say it. <laughs> I remember when we were in grade school, Tiff. Um, that's when we go to lunch. That's what the lunch ladies used to wear, so. I don't know. <laughs> Where's my hair net? <laughs> my hair net. I don't even own a hair net, girl. Hey, Andrea, what's up, my girl? Oh my God, Sean, are you serious right now? I can't take it with you guys. The hair net, oh my God. I'm making box brownie, babe. Hi, Helen, good night. Um, I'm just making a box brownie really quick. The girls are not home, so just figured I'll uh, make late, late food. So box brownie, a quick salad for me, some stuffed shrimp, and um, some quesadilla. Oh my God, Sean, I can't take you. I can't take you. Sean, remember that when the ladies from your junior high, 226, they probably used to wear that when they used to, you used to buy cookies. <laughs> They don't wear that anymore though, I'll tell you that. But that was a good laugh. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to just empty this, scrape this down in here. Hold on, I better not drop this, it's ceramic. I love this bowl, I leave it out, I use it for my salad, I use it for my mixture, I use it for everything. I got tons of bowls, but I just like this one. Sean, I figured out some of my music before uh, before I came on, I was like, wait, 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 I gotta figure out some, some of my music. Oh, thank you. Hi, oh, <laughs> you're saying hi to Sean. You like my frock? Thanks. Just my regular summer dress. I gotta like put away winter clothes and take out summer clothes. I've just been like, oh yeah, I love this bowl. And Tiff, it comes with a um, like a stand. It comes, I don't know where the stand is, but it comes with a stand. It's really cute. I think it's from, um, I think it's a, like a Pottery Barn bowl, bowl, yeah. I like uh, Pottery Barn stuff. They have really nice stuff there. I have like the colored bowls as well from them. It's pretty good. So I'm just scraping this down. I think that's enough. Let me put this to wash. Okay, so my oven's actually already... Oh, you love that song, Abby? Oh, good. Hey, Vijay, how are you? Um, so here's my brownie. Oh, you... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, home goods? I love home goods, too. I love home goods. I, I have two right around my way. I'm gonna stick my brownie in the oven. Give me a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because my... Um, because my pan is on, I'm actually gonna take it off really quick. I'm going to show you guys, actually I'm just gonna bring everything here. I think it's just easier to work here than the other side. Um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, I appreciate that. I don't really have a style, I just like, like if I see something it looks good, I like the fit. I'm not into style so much, I'm into how things fit. My day was good, uh, Vijay, I was busy all day, I was like, cleaning house, holding from 11 o'clock this morning. So let me bring this over. I think it's just easier. I just have a lot more space here. So I decided like, let me start working over here and show you guys my match for my candle. I forgot it. All right, so let me grab a fork. Hi, Paula. Uh, Oh, okay, nice, uh, sounds great. So I'm going to get my shrimp and show you guys in the socket. So these are my shrimp, as you can see. Um, they're pretty good size. Now I butterfly them, so I wanna show you guys how I butterfly them. I butterfly them like this, however, I didn't take it all the way to the end because you wanna leave like a pocket here. So you definitely want to leave a pocket so when you start uh, stuffing it, it's not going to um, leak out. It, the Whatever I'm making right now, the stuffing's not going to leak out. Uh, but I have to show. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tiff. Uh, oh my god. Sean, you guys stop. <laughs> you guys make me, I'm gonna forget what I'm doing cooking here. You guys are nuts. So I've got um, a stick of butter. So, and my hand's got brownie on it. Yeah, nice. Um, so I've got a stick of butter here. So I'm just, and this is at room, tem uh, room temperature. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Who are you talking to? What are you guys talking about? I'm kind of lost right now. Uh, no, she's talking about her dog, Snow, Anthony. She's not talking about you. <laughs> she has a dog named Snow. Oh, God. This is so funny. <laughs> and I happen to like Snow. <laughs> Snow is really adorable. He's a white pit bull with some spots. And I'm not a huge dog fan. Hi, Amara, how are you? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to read all your comments while I'm, I'm making, you guys are gonna make me. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, Anthony, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> you guys are funny, you guys are so funny. So anyway, here's my butter. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my let me get my stuff together. Hey Pat, oh I love it. All my friends are on. I'm going to just season this up. So my butter I'm seasoned up with with uh, cracked pepper and just a little bit of salt. And I'm going to actually uh, <clears throat> just season my shrimp up just with a little bit of salt as well and turn it up. Hey Pat, how are you? Hey Teresa. So here we go. Just mixing that up. So I'll just let that sit for a couple minutes. And I've got uh, just two cloves of garlic here. So I'm just going to, well three. I got three, I thought it was two. Oh, okay, thanks Teresa. I miss you too, I know. it's. I don't have times I come on, it's just very random. The girls went out to Queens, so they're not here. So I'm just here um, by myself. I've been by myself for quite some time and just cleaning and getting stuff done. And I was like, let me just, uh, do I need something under this? Let me just get this done, you know. And I'm just um, fine chopping my garlic. So just three cloves of garlic. So I'm just gonna do that really fast. What's going on, Vijay? It's really uh, late in England right now. What are you, how was your day? How was everyone's day? Everyone had a good Saturday? It's really late to cook, but it's okay. Nobody's here to eat and I'm eating really late. Everything is so much later these days. But I was like, it's okay. I'm just hanging out and uh, enjoying. I was like, my Facebook friends, some company. I'm not trying to be like chef in my uh, garlic right now, but I should just to get it fine, finely chopped. Okay, there we go. And my, my brownie's already in there. So I'm just gonna add all of this to my, um, to my butter. There we go. And I am gonna squeeze a little bit of um, lemon to my butter as well. I'm not squeezing it on the shrimp. I'm gonna squeeze it to the butter, so. And I've got some fresh um, parsley. I have my boys with me. Ah, I know, it is hard. I, I'm with the girls, regardless if this is happening or not, I'm with them 24 seven. Um, just always with them. So it's nothing new. Um, I'm at their school, so when I come home, we come home together, we go together. It is, it is a lot, but I had a whole, whole day of cleaning, Teresa, so. Let me tell you, I was like, they wanted to be at the house, so they went to grandpa's house just for a little bit. And they haven't been, this is probably the second time they literally came out to go to uh, to go to Queens. They've just been indoors. But um, things are getting a little better, just a little bit, just, you know, social distancing as much as possible. We live in New York, we got hit the worst here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um,
Okay, perfect, Anthony. Yeah, I would love to be a part of it. Um, sounds good. I don't mind at all. Uh, anything to share um, the way Guyanese people live around the world, anything to help anyone, anything to, um, anything that's positive, please include me. That's completely fine. It's 2 a.m. in England, Vijay. <laughs> and you like to watch your cousin cooking? Thank you so much. I feel very honored. Let me grab a uh, napkin. I feel very, very honored. Um, it's amazing how uh, COVID has changed our lives and you can either do something positive with it or, you know, you could, people can still find negative and positive, but I try to find a positive in things. Um, way better, way better to go that, that route. I know this is a lot of butter, but I am gonna add some um, Italian breadcrumbs. And like you guys see me cooking, like it's just stuff I already usually have around the house. I just reuse it and come up with like ways just to reuse it and make it creative. So that's all. That's all you have to do with your stuff. Nothing has to be like, you know, perfect or I think I need a little bit more breadcrumbs. Hey, Baba. So here we go. Stuffing. Just mix this really well. And this is what this is looking like. So I am going, going to um, clean my board off so I can bring my other stuff and show you guys. I'm just gonna throw everything in my, uh, in my sink. My bowl. Wash my hands up really quick. And here we go. So I could show you guys what this is going to look like. I did put some salt on my shrimp. I'm just going to add some uh, black pepper. Just a little bit. Even though it has in there, I'm just going to add a little bit more. We love shrimp dishes. I mean, Knock on wood, no one's got any cholesterol issues in here yet. But, um, oh yeah, it's E tomorrow, so I am going to be cooking. Um, thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that so much, especially coming from like a real professional chef. I can't even tell you. Um, thank you so much for the support. Anthony's been an amazing so, uh, support with my, my Facebook uh, live cooking, so thank you so much. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's Eid, so I am going to my aunt's house. I'm going to be helping her cook. I don't know how to make vomizelli. I don't know how to make sweet rice. I'm making uh, a dessert and taking it, which I didn't even tell her, and I'm making um, an appetizer and taking it. So and I'm gonna go watch how to learn, watch how to make vomizelli and sweet rice and all her delicious food. So I know, no cocktail, I just, I want to really just get a, a glass of wine with my wine opener and just like <laughs> drink a glass of wine tonight. I don't know. I'm like, I, I didn't prep for a cocktail. Sorry, Andrea. Um, so this is my shrimp right here. Literally just going like this and stuffing it like this. And when it bakes up in the oven, like this is what it looks like, guys and I'm just going to set it down. Um, it's going to be oozing, because the butter is just gonna make everything, you know, really nice, like almost like cheese, but instead it's like just the butter stuffing, really, really good. And um, this bakes up, you add some lemon wedges, and you have it with a salad. Oh, nice, oh, sounds good. Thanks, Andrea, um, you did your cooking today for tomorrow. Oh, nice, yeah. Um, we're having a few people over tomorrow in my aunt's house, so that should actually be good. Um, that should actually be, oh, the monsters are home. Just in time, just in time for food. <laughs> the cookie monsters are, all, everyone's home for food, so that's, that's good, good timing. Oh, all right, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, just doing all of this. Hi, Helena. Just just leave it on four. So, oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Hi, girls. You can go get washed. So, it is good timing. Good timing. 
on my end and I guess their end because this stuff is literally like you have to eat it. You have to eat it hot. So I'm just doing and not not it's not too much shrimp, just probably to fill this platter up. Okay, have a great evening as well. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I will DM you for sure. You <laughs> you're coming over. Hi, Sunita, how are you? Um, anytime, anytime. Anytime, uh, Vijay. So here we go. It takes a little time, but you know, it's just, you, not that much time. It's just like taking a little time to stuff it, but it's okay. It's all good. The ending result is always good. So can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. And it's just gonna fill up my casserole dish. Just going to fill up my casserole dish. And this is very late. Like I said, the girls just came in from grandpa's house, so uh, my Chalisa is always ready. And this, so I make my menu according to Chalisa because Chalisa is my, eat, my eater. I have one that eats a lot and one who doesn't eat a lot, so we go off of what Chalisa wants. Oh, you have to try to make it. You should. It's it's really nice and it's uh, super, super easy. You'll see once it comes out of the oven, it doesn't take that long either. This will just bake up until maybe like 15 minutes, 10. So this is what this is looking like. Hi, Sam. How are you? And I'm just going to literally stick this in the oven. I'm going to put it on a baking sheet. So I just like to put it in a baking sheet just to make sure it's safe. Also, what you want to do is you want to always, um, uh, you always, when you're putting shrimp in, you want to put it on the upper um, rack. You don't want to put it on the lower racks. You want to put it on the uh, the upper rack so it cooks, it cooks nicely and it doesn't overcook because shrimp can overcook like really, really easily, right? Let me just clean my surface off and just rinse my hands out from the shrimp. One second. So I just did, um, so I'm done with that. So I'm going to make, good night, hi Drew. Yeah, late, late supper, the girls were out, so they just came home, so that's why I'm doing this now. Um, and I'm gonna have a salad. They're gonna have quesadilla. I just put my grill pan on. So here is my plate right here. And I have these nice pear. So I'm going to make a nice salad. I could make a vinaigrette to go with it. I'll even tell you how to make a vinaigrette because I already know in my head like what kind of vinaigrette I like. Um, so I could just, you know, show you guys. So I'm going to actually just slice this up. Just take the head off actually and just slice it like sideways, like thin. I want some thin slices. And when you get to the core, of course, you know, you could just, and I don't even think I need two. Uh, I just need maybe just one. So here we go. Um, I love making fancy things at home. You don't, like we can't go to a restaurant now anyway, but it's okay, like you could just do stuff at home and make it look, you know, nice and pretty and festive. Or maybe I would, I would need another one. I don't mind, or maybe I'll just, here, make it like, no, I need another one. I want it to be nice. And there's nothing wrong with some pear. Um, and I like using like whatever fruit, or maybe I'll just use the rest of this one. I just like using like whatever fruit is, um, you know, around or that's good at the grocery store or that's like in season. Let me see what I could get out of this one. Oh, perfect. Just take the pit out. Take that out. And I'll even tell you how to make the vinaigrette. So here's my, here's my pear, right? Look at this, guys. 
add some salad to it. <laughs> just add, I just have some mixed greens. Just add some mixed greens to it. And I'm going to actually have this with my, um, with my dinner, with my, uh, with my food. So there we go. So this is what this is looking like. And guess what else I've got? Um, my blue cheese from leftover, like usual. Just going to put some of that around. So here we go. Here we go. Just add in blue cheese to this. Blue cheese can be a little messy. Hey Seam, how are you? And what goes good with pear, blue cheese, I don't have figs. I couldn't even find figs anymore, Andrea. That's so funny. After that one time I found them, I couldn't find it anymore. Turn this around. Almost like a star with a pear. And just put some walnuts. I mean, if you have peanut allergy, obviously don't use walnuts, but. And what I would make with this is, I would put like, um, I know I haven't, I've been looking especially for you and I can't find it for the life of me. Um, Andrea, what I would do with this is I would put like some red wine vinegar, um, or, you know, Chardonnay vinegar, and then, I know, I was surprised too, I found him that day. And what I would do with this is the vinaigrette, I would put red wine vinegar or, you know, Chardonnay vinegar, I would put honey, salt and pepper, and lemon. That's it. I would make a vinaigrette just like that. Uh, the honey with the sweet and with this and with well, the cheese, it just makes it all also good. Oh, I I'm, I just made brownie and Seema and I'm, I stuffed some shrimp. The girls just came back from Queens. Um, you're very welcome, Andrea. And I'm just doing um, a quesadilla and a simple salad, like a pear salad. So this is my salad, guys, what it looks like. And like I said, I would just do the vinaigrette like, you know, like I like I said to you. Um, I am going to do a quick walk because um, I know somebody in the house like Chalisa is going to want some guacamole with her with her um, quesadilla. So I'm going to I'm going to get that going. Hi Chalice. I'll be with you guys when I'm done. Yeah, my avocado is not too too ripe, but it's good enough. This is, yeah, it's definitely not ripe enough. Hey Jackie, how are you? I like when it's like really gooey, mushy, but it's okay. I got it like two days ago, so probably needs to ripe some more. So we'll just have like chunky guac with it instead. And I need a spoon. Come Baba, you can come. You're not doing anything, come over. You can eat shrimp. That's not a big deal, come. It's nice when your aunt lives five minutes away. Cause I'll just call and be like, I want food, I'm coming. Or she could do the same. That's like the best part. Let's see if I could get this pit out like that. I guess not. I thought, oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Um, because you probably overcook them. You gotta be really careful with um, shrimp. They cook up really, really fast, so you just, as soon as they turn pink, they're usually done. Like, you gotta be very careful with, uh, with shrimp. Cooks really, really quick. I always have prawns in my freezer. Okay, Baba, no problem. Um, I always have uh, prawns in my freezer. So, that's never like a big, you know. I always keep seafood. So here's my uh, avocado, and I'm just going to I have some uh, cherry tomato. I need a different knife for this. I just need like a serrated bladed knife. So just my cherry tomato, just add in that to it. I'm like, I love reusing everything I already have. Like, it's so easy. So, so easy. There we go. I definitely feel like having some wine, but I guess I'll wait till I'm done cooking to have some wine. Definitely wait until I'm done. Okay, here we go. 
my garlic. Just one garlic clove for your guacamole. Like, you usually don't need more than that. Definitely just want to fine chop it. I think my, my cutting board, I let it get wet so it cracked a little. Like, I see a, a crack in the seal, and this is a really good one, so I was like, shoot. one garlic clove uh, you'll see me making guacamole all the time on here it's like one of the favorite things in here and just a little bit of purple onion not too much just very fine put that in there and a little bit of cilantro, of course. You can't have a guacamole without cilantro, right? You gotta have some nice, uh, some cilantro. I gotta check on my shrimp just now. He had, oh, the music. Is that who's playing? Are you talking about the music? I just like music. I don't know who sings it. You don't never get me to know who sings it. I'll be like, huh? <laughs> that would be Adrian and Sean. They would know. And a little bit of lime, of course. Here's my lime. A little bit of salt. I gotta wash my hands. Just too much stuff on it. Too much stuff on my hands just now and a little bit of uh, black pepper. And, oh, okay. And a little bit of hot sauce. Not too much, just a little. So you know if you're having, um, if you're having quesadilla, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of chicken, and, uh, a little bit of guac on the side, even though it's like a chunky guac, but it's okay. So that's that. So putting that aside. And I'm actually gonna take you guys over here because I'm gonna be doing the um doing the chicken. So my grill pan is definitely it's definitely heated. So I'm gonna just add my oil to that. I mean I could add um I could add spray to it. I'm just gonna add olive oil instead. It's probably gonna be like making a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. It's all good. And I just have chicken breasts um, seasoned up here. I always have chicken breasts seasoned up. It's like um, the girls always like chicken breasts. Uh, so I'm just gonna grill that up. This shouldn't take long at all. Should not take long at all. And then the other three pieces I'm just going to do after. And what will happen is I have my tortilla here. I'm going to actually grab a pan and uh, heat up my uh, tortilla. So that will be my, my flipping station after when my chicken is done grilling. So I'll just actually leave that there in the meantime. Let me check on my shrimp. See what's going on with my shrimp. Hey Sha, how are you? Just give me a second, let me get some uh, oven mix. Oh my God, it's cooking up so nicely. I can't wait to show you guys. My brownie smells so too. So the shrimp, the tail is getting pink. It just needs to be, uh, hey babe, I just need to be cooked just a, literally like a little bit more. So what I'm going to do when I slice up my um, chicken from my quesadilla, I'm actually going to, um, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes on, I got a board here. I'm going to let it sit on my board for a few minutes, my chopping board, and just let it rest a little. And what I'll do is I'll slice it up 
and then I'll just start assembling my um, my quesadilla. So it'll just be grilled with uh, the chicken inside. And I do have um, mozzarella, my leftover mozzarella from yesterday from my uh, lasagna. And I also have um, monster cheese. If you know monster cheese, I, it's like one of those melty, gooey cheese. You want to put a good cheese on your burger? Let it be monster cheese. It's really good. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with that. And then, you know, spread a little block if anyone wants one or if anyone doesn't. Like, whatever. Just kind of go with the flow in the house of what the kids want. The kids control the menu now. I can't lie. <laughs> they, because you know, it's hard when you have a kid that eats everything, and when you have a kid that doesn't eat everything. And then I always say, like, okay, well, what's for dinner today? What would you guys like? Or what? Would, and Teresa always comes up with like, she is my child. Like that girl is just like food galore. Um, Avery's like, eh, I don't know, I don't care. So I try to make things that are, um, you know, balanced but also uh, healthy and also good for us and them, but uh, I do ask them every day, um, you know, what would you guys like to eat? I'm sure a lot of parents do that as well. Um, I got asked a lot. I know a lot of kids, people grow up though, and you have to eat what's in the house. I didn't grow up like that. I got extra. I'm not going to lie. I, I was spoiled. I had, if they need something and I wanted something else, I'm getting something else. So I spoiled them with the food, not anything else. So it's just trying to keep that, keep that simple. And I'm sure like most parents, you like when your kids eat, you know? It makes you feel, it's like a guy in these things. It makes you feel good. Just let that chicken go. That's like splattering up like crazy, of course, because um, it's on the grill pan. There goes me cleaning the kitchen today. That'll be, hold on, let me leave your comment. I can't see. Oh yeah, yeah, making a quesadilla, and then, um, yeah, the chicken breast with tortilla, and then also, um, you put cheese on it. They love that stuff. It's Friday night. <laughs> I did. Sean's my living proof. I did always take his food, or he would have to give me his food, or we go to the grocery store, we'll be in the cart, and his mom will tell me to pick up what I want. <laughs> Sean's my living proof. <laughs> so it is it is true. Sorry, Sean. But now I share my food with you. Right? I share my food. I cook for you. You know? You're my brother. I can't be hating on you like that. <laughs> so definitely share. I think Bob is on her way here, son. She saw shrimp, so I think she wants to come. So the shrimp is still baking up nicely. The brownie will probably take a little while, but I definitely wanna um so you guys to shrimp in like a few minutes. The shrimp should be done. So I've got my salad, I've got my uh, guac, and just doing the quesadilla, and the shrimp is in there. Oh. <laughs> Son, you're so funny. Son is hilarious. Um, and that's about, oh yeah, that is true. You know I got mad love for you. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what's going on. Let's turn this again. You definitely want your, um, you want it to be grilled up good, but you definitely want it to, um, sit as well before you start slicing it up. Probably put, like, another piece on, another piece on, because they're home. They're going to be ready to, you know, like, probably, like, why is the food not ready yet? <laughs> I feel like I need, I feel like this is the point where I should, like, go look for, uh, wine and open it. Like it's that time. It's that time. I think I'm doing it. Okay, you guys are coming with me. I'm going to look for wine. It's like no champagne night. Let me look for wine. Let me see how much wine I have, or if I have something I like. Let me check it out in here. Mm. No. Hold on. I'm literally like digging for wine. No. Nah. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that either. I know. I don't want any. I didn't want any of the ones I have in the wine rack upstairs. Let me go downstairs. I'm so crazy. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to open it up. Let me see what's going on. Any wine there? Uh, nah. Let me see in here. Let's see. I know. I should have just made a cocktail. Andrea? 
I should have just done that. Mm, I don't have any wine I want. Shoot. I thought I did. I should have prepared a cocktail, Andrea. Literally. <laughs> this is what happens. Uh, let me see what else. Do we have any red wine? Okay, never mind. All right, I can't find any. I must have drank out the bottle I had. I had a bottle. I liked it. I must have, like, literally drank it out. If you're now coming in, this is the salad I made. Really, really cute. I don't like any wine I have. That means I gotta get wine. That means I had and I drank it out. So, let me flip this chicken. Of course, the bigger pieces are gonna take longer, right? We will really clear it up. Let me check on my, um, I want to check on my sink again. Like another, <laughs> come on over. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Or I could just go get everything and make a cocktail for you. Um, I don't want to get off until I make these shrimp and show you guys like really good stuff. Hopefully my chicken will be done by then and I can just assemble my quesadilla. I know. We need to fix this girl. Hmm. With the quickness. <laughs> I need I need some I and I I like um I like the, I know a lot of people like Wolfer Estate out east. I like Pindar. Um, Sean introduced me to Pindar wine many, many years ago. And I love Pindar wine. I like that estate as well. And I like this wine. My favorite wine ever is called Sea Scarlet from uh, the Pindar Estate. It is red. Um, I'm a scarlet kind of gal, so I guess <laughs> I like it. I'm just BSing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I actually, that's one of my favorite um, wines. I'm just flipping my, my chicken breast again. Just want to make sure. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, just making sure that cooks up, like, really. Um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't think it's late. It's 9.30. I think they're going to eat and just brush teeth and probably chill out for a little bit. They watched a movie last night. They watched a movie today. we got a lot of projects to do. I started some today after cleaning all day. And um, I was like, uh, I started I started some projects. So I was like, let me see. Maybe they'll, they're already downstairs. So who knows what they want to do. Who knows. I definitely want my chicken breast like cooked all the way. I, I don't want it like halfway cooked. They would they would have a fit. Andrea, what'd you make today? What did you cook today? I like quick simple food. Quick and simple. I know. It's like a surprise. I want to surprise you guys with it. I can't even do that with it. I'm gonna take it out. You're gonna love it. You're going to love this shrimp when it comes out. And I'm gonna just cut up some here, lemon, some lemon wedges. Hold on. Let me just slice up my lemon wedges in the meantime. Just to put it around it. Oh yeah, I was I was I, I was bumming today in sweats all day cleaning house. So I was like, when I was trying to cook, I was like, I gotta figure it out. So I asked Shalisa, and she was like, Oh, I, I just want to to the uh, and if you want to make shrimp for me, I was like, I was like, girl, you can't come up with one thing. She was like, No, two things. I was like, Okay. I was like, okay, Teresa. I want this chicken to be like, hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling my silly tonight. Feeling my real silly tonight. <laughs> That's because I do walk home late. I 
know. All the kids like quesadilla. I'm taking my shrimp out, Andrea. Mm. 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 One minute. At least when I show it to you guys, but it looks pretty. Okay, hold on. What did I do with my other taco? Did I, did I lose my other taco or did I lose it in the office? What the heck did I do with my other? Oh, it fell. I fell with you. I'm crazy. Oh, okay, you ready? I'm going to show you the shrimp right now. Hold on. Let me move the lemon out of the way. Hot, hot, hot. You don't want to know the smell. Oh, I think so too. It's, it's from being tired. Ah, uh, look at that. That shrimp is, that shrimp is crazy right now. Let me just put it on the board. Crazy right now, this shrimp. Like... That shrimp is like good stuff. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got to see it. Very good stuff. And you saw, and this is my, just my chicken breast. I mean, oh my God, Tip, I gotta make it for you if you're not allergic to shrimp. I will make it for you. I'm just doing the rest of my, um, just the rest of my chicken right now. Just make sure it's, um, and, and just imagine if you have that with, um, while that grows up, I'm going to have it with a pear salad and show you guys how that's going to be coming along. Like, I want to show you. I got to eat, I got to eat for my people, show you guys. So, I'm going to take one. Oh my god, this shrimp is like, it's like huge. So, this is what my plate is looking like. Look at that. Oh, okay. Need some time. Girl, you're not going to need some time with my food. <laughs> And definitely not overcooked. Um, vagina, look at that. Really, really tender. Let me put some of this um, stuff in on it. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Good. I want you guys to try it. Make it. Just send me a picture. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you. When you make it, send me a picture and let me know how you think it is. So good. So, so good. And of course my salad. And a little bit of salad to go with it. Can't go wrong with blue cheese. Mm -mm. The so rich in flavor. Ridiculous. Like, I can't even tell you. Just ridiculous in flavor. Very, very ridiculous in flavor right now. I'm actually gonna switch my pan up after I uh, cut up my, my other chicken in a minute here. <laughs> if you're killing me. <laughs> I know, right? Let me grab a fork. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to slice my chicken up like very, just very, it's right here. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, good. Yeah, cook it and let me know. Cook it and let me know how it is. Guaranteed, you're going to be like, wow. Really, really good. I like um, cooking shrimp in different ways. This is something I've been making for a very long time for Chalisa. Um, she likes the shrimp. Like, we love shrimp dishes. Um, 
just make sure everyone stays healthy and no one's cholesterol gets high. So, hey, Omai, how are you? Um, but everyone's good for now, but we do, because we're not big meat eaters. I mean, we do eat meat, but not too crazy about, you know, meat too much. And we'll be having meat tomorrow with lots of other goodies. Can't wait. Let me show you guys my grilled chicken. Taking out another breast. Usually I let it sit a little bit more, but it's okay. I'm just going to slice it up. And you definitely want to slice these thin, right? Not too thick at all. Not thick at all. So, there we go. My other one is... So this is all my uh, chicken brush right now. So I'm actually going to move my can over while it's cooked. I'm just going to move it to the back burner. And put my tortilla here. So I'm heating up my first tortilla while my other chicken breast is, um, is grilling. oil-coated a little. So I'm going to assemble one and show you guys what that's like. And here's my simple um, uh, guac I made. Chunky, chunky guac. And like I said, I have um, I have mozzarella and I have monster. I'm actually going to just use monster for this one. Monster is really, really melty. So you want like a real melty um, kind of cheese. Uh, Alexa, volume six. Yeah, you want a real melty kind of cheese. So definitely let this heat up really good. And these are the large tortillas. Let me grab another one. This is it right here. Well, that's grilling up. It's a good taste of the night. I just like it to get a little brown, so when you cut it, it's like crisp and nice. Comes out, comes out good like that. So when I cut it, I'll show you the cheese how it melts in it. So now I'm gonna add my uh, chicken to it. The only hard thing about this is like flipping it. So that's why I like just cooking it on one side. Because once you start flipping it, it starts going all over the place. So, hold on. I lost the chicken, hold on. Chalisa, can you get the door? Hold on one, I'm on the, uh, I'm on, go ahead, get it. Hold on one second. One second. And now I'm going to add the cheese to my uh, to my meat. So I'm still on, yeah. No, it's not. So I'm gonna add my second one now. And let me get a spatula to flip. So I'm going to get my spatula now to flip it. So I'm just going to hold it and try to hope it doesn't, hold on, hope it doesn't fall, but it's starting to fall a little bit. Hold on one second. Ah! Take that out. Ooh, there we go. Just let that go. And look what's going on in here. See that? And I can just add my guac to this one, actually, while it's still on there, while it's toasted. I'm just going to add it to it. See what 
what this is looking like underneath. Like, look. Post it up. My other chicken is actually done. I'm gonna grab a plate to put this in. Hi, Baba. Baba just came. That's when the doorbell is ringing. She's so funny. So I want to cut this up and show you guys what it'll be like. Oh my God, so good. I really want you to. See. I hope you can. See. Can you guys see this inside? I don't want to burn my hand. Like, look. How good does that look? Add more cheese. Why not? Hey, Tip. Oh, yeah. Tip, girl. I'm gonna hook you up. <laughs> you let me know what you want, Tip. I'm hooking you up. I gotta tell you, um, my friend Tiffany is an amazing woman. Um, so, uh, what an inspiration and so supportive and so kind. And I love being around women like that. Her and I had a great conversation yesterday and just, um, the empowerment and and the perfect uh you know we had so much in common so it's it's it, i'm so happy i got to see you tip um that was such a pleasure and and women supporting women and being positive because we don't have a lot of that in our um in our society and in our culture i feel like people it's just always something else but uh thank you for that thank you for that amazing conversation and that amazing uh glass of wine <laughs> okay and that's it this is it. It's a big spatula. So here we go. I'm taking you guys back. So you saw my shrimp. <laughs> now you get to see my quesadilla. My brownie should be uh my brownie should be done soon as well. Actually let me check on it really quick. Even the brownies coming out good and all oh, thanks so, so here's this right I think I need like the pizza cutter for this so. nothing's ever in the place where it needs to be I'm just gonna use my knife instead it's okay You could cut it in four, you could cut it in six. I think six would be best. Four would be, uh, or maybe. I just want to get it out of here and show you guys what it really looks like. Hold on. Why can't I get this? together look at that what did I tell you that's when you know and look at the bottom nice and toasty that's when you know quesadilla is good okay oh you like this song thank you Thank you, very yummy. And I made some shrimp pan. Look at this. And a nice salad uh, to go with it. Let me get my brownie and show you guys. And literally, this is my box brownie. Look at this. Thank you so much. Anyway, guys, it's that time to say bye to you guys. <laughs> um, 
I had so much fun hanging out with you on a Saturday night. Uh, it was late, but it's okay. Baba just came over. We're hanging out with the girls. The typical thing in my house. Um, tomorrow I will be cooking for uh, Eid with her. It'll be early. I'm not sure how much I'll be filming, um, but I am going to try to get some in there. You guys make sure you watch. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone. Um, brownies with ice cream. Yes, Tim. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream. Anyway, guys. Um, Thanks for hanging with me, thanks for commenting, thanks for uh, all your great um, questions and comments and love. And